Hi, my name is Robeson Taj Frazier. My research focuses on American popular cultures and political cultures with a specific focus on the experiences and forms of expression and creativity of people of African descent in the Americas and throughout the world. I was born and grew up in New York City during the 1980s and 1990s. My fascination with black expressive cultures really grew out of growing up in communities that were full of dynamic kinds of forms of life. So my research started with focusing on the role of media, popular culture, in black social movements, primarily from the 1950s through 1980s. I was particularly interested in the ways that media served as a tool for black American civil rights and black power movement activists in building ties um, and relations with people outside of the U.S., specifically in China. Learning about black Americans who were traveling to China from the 1920s on, but who were using media as a source to increase the awareness of their black counterparts in the U.S. and elsewhere who couldn't travel to China. Some of the people I write about in my book, The East is Black, Cold War China and the Black Radical Imagination, are people like W.E.B. Du Bois when he travels to China and really is treated with a sense of reverence and respect that he's never really afforded in the country of his birth. So my research has continued to now examine current day dynamics of race um, and cross-cultural contact in China. And I'm looking at this through the lens of hip hop music, the growing importance of sports culture, in particular basketball culture, and kind of growing economic and cultural importance of sneaker culture. So what started out as a subculture, which is now like dominant global culture. I'm interested in how this is taking shape in China, in particular because China, you know, has historically been the kind of hub for the production of these same products. What does it mean that a country that has played a dominant role in the creation of what, for the most part, are kind of like low cost to make products, but which are sold today at a, to some degree, ridiculously kind of absurd high value. The association with these shoes is that they denote something also about kind of like global citizenship in terms of like how do they imagine themselves and how does this impact how they move or walk through daily life. 